Hi everyone, Neil here, and I'd like to start by introducing Bruce. Hi guys, it's good to virtual meet you guys at last. Um, I'd like to uh, introduce Lisa as well, but unfortunately she's been struck down by some bug. And uh, yeah, so Neil and I are going to have a chat and see if we can portray exactly what we've been doing as the new boat uh, development team over the last uh, year and possibly even two years. So that's where we yeah, are. Yeah, Shane here. Lisa can't be here, but uh, uh, she's here in spirit, no doubt. And uh, yeah, just really want to stress the importance of having, uh, you, know, you know, yourself and Lisa down here in South Africa really driving this, this project forward. Yes, it's it's been it's been a, an interesting road to walk because uh, there was no template for us to to uh, put this all together, but uh, yeah, we've it's been a lot of fun, uh, a lot of hard work, but uh, we're now heading down the down the, the correct road and we're looking at ramping things up uh, significantly. Yeah, and it's I mean I think the other thing to mention is the importance of the HQ team uh, in the UK um, because there's been very much close communication both from a development perspective but also from a you know, support and administration perspective to put this project together isn't it oh absolutely uh, the hq team has been absolutely phenomenal uh, the background work that they do is just uh, well truly professional and um, yes uh, you know we start right from the, uh, the development the software development through to how the actual uh, listings have been crafted and uh, with uh, Joe and Jess are now becoming all more significantly involved. Uh, it's really going to be an exciting. Yeah, because there's been you know there's been a lot of work to get us to this stage. And um, perhaps we could start by you know telling us a little bit about the story about how this came about. How did the you know the idea of boat shed selling new boats come about? Well, we had a chance meeting Neil and I. Um, we, we were talking about second-hand boats um, in the true boat shed uh, history, but the conversation moved forward uh, to new boats. And with South Africa being the second biggest manufacturer of uh, sailing catamarans in the world, it became increasingly obvious that uh, we were talking about the wrong thing. We should have been talking about new boats. And uh, we changed that narrative. and. Um, Yes, uh, we then discussed how we were actually going to do this and uh, the number of boatyards uh, that we thought would show interest um, proved to be correct. Yeah, I mean, I came down to, uh, to Cape Town and, and Bruce had arranged a, a meeting with a number of, of, of boat builders and, uh, you know, um, I stood up and talked about, you know, the boat shed system and how transparency and lots of information has has really changed the way that people are buying used boats. And yeah, I, well, you know, we stood there and did a little presentation in front of initially 10 boat builders, expecting perhaps a couple of them to, uh, to say, yes, they're interested. But all 10 came back and said they wanted to do it. So. It was a truly remarkable meeting. Um, the enthusiasm that uh, they came to us or presented to us was amazing to the to the point of view that we had to limit the number of yards that we approached and uh, we, we decided to go ahead with uh, 10 yards and uh, feed those into the system and essentially trial the system. Um, we were fortunate to have a large enough selection of yards so that we could start with the, the really big uh, sailing catamarans in the 55 foot uh, class all the way down through to little 26 foot cats and um, the same with the ski boats uh, we we got some really uh, excellent um, catamarans uh, fishing boats and and leisure boats down to the little uh, stand-up uh, skiff which is a great deal of fun to have running around canals and so on yeah i mean and the principle of course is you know <coughs> standard boat shed it's about more information better information more accurate more up to date and we, you know, uh, the, the, the sort of uh, bedrock of the, of the new boat presentation is, uh, is all about meet the boat builder. Um, because obviously in Northern Europe and the US and in other locations, uh, a lot of our boat builders there, people are familiar with the brands. They're familiar with the Benetos and Genos and the larger builders. And this system is really designed for small to medium sized builders, isn't it? Um, and, you know, the, the principle of, of, of Meet the Boat Builder is what we're 
you know, and I think we've successfully achieved this is to capture, you know, directly from the boat builders themselves that passion, enthusiasm, uh, uh, and skill. You know, and, you know, you take some, take the Invicta guys, for instance. You know, it was their, you know, it was their grandfather who was the first person to build um, fiberglass boats here in South Africa. So it's three generations of boat builders, and you know. Um, I like to think in those videos that that kind of passion and enthusiasm comes through. No. Yes, um, our videographer Jonti has done an incredible job, uh, and in surprisingly trying conditions in a, in a yard that is um, <clears throat> building boats. Uh, yeah, so lots of noise, lots of lots of dust, lots of fiberglass, lots of uh, you know grinding and and and, exactly. and, and and everything, all that noise and 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 and, and mayhem going on, and and yeah, the the. The result, I think, is, is is quite good. Neil's Neil's idea of doing the meet the builder video was an exceptional one. Uh, it just it just portrays the individual, the human that's actually going to be there, and you're going to entrust a great deal of money uh, <clears throat> with this individual to build your dream boat. And um, we've all heard horror stories of how things have gone wrong, and that's where the trust has got to start. Without that initial step of understanding who you're dealing with yes it's bridging that gap where, where where a client is familiar all right with a you know a large scale production builder um but they're you know they're not familiar with the with these smaller arts you know let's not forget that the exactly. you know the same equipment the same engines the same electronics the same you know everything is used throughout the world on all of these boats. You know, it's Garmin electronics or it's Yanmar engines. And of course, boats built here in South Africa use all of that equipment. And built some boats are built, you know, in the same way, very much, you know, stronger because of the waters down here in, in South Africa. Uh, but it's breaking down that, that, that you know, uh, how am I going to trust this person you know, to build me a boat? Uh, <clears throat> absolutely. And we are about as far as you can get from the traditional markets of Europe and uh, the United States. So that level of, of confidence uh, in the builder, in the equipment with its worldwide warranties and uh, the techniques that they're using uh, is very important to, to put it across. Um, most of the boats now are being built uh, with uh, infusion uh, processes. So yeah, we're building light, high tech boats uh, with premium components from around the world yeah and of course uh, because you know the, the 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 economies that you can make here because you have a large labor force all right that 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 that, that essentially can be employed more economically than than than, than a lot of western uh, western yards you're ending up with a quality boat all right at you know significantly uh, less retail cost absolutely and we're just extremely fortunate to have such a <clears throat> high level of, of well-trained uh, craftsmen, and they are craftsmen. These are not just uh, guys that <clears throat> came off the street and started building boats. They, they've they done it for many years and know exactly what they're doing, and uh, the products speak for themselves at the end of the day. What do you see as the primary goal of the New Build Boats division? For me, it's, it's, it's absolutely critical that the new boat division generates cash for the group. And when I say for the group, I'm talking about every single broker out there. And we can achieve that relatively easily if we have the support uh, of all members of the group. Uh, the, the boats we're going to be listing are going to cover from a pontoon boat to a, a luxury sailing catamaran and uh, even houseboats. So, I don't foresee us having too many gaps uh, in areas uh, around the world that have specific requirements for certain types of boats. But getting back to the, the value to the individual broker, because these boats are new and high value items, uh, there are significant commission streams uh, that can be achieved. And uh, the, the target uh, percentage uh, commission for the new boat yards is 10%. And when I say 10%, that is the target. I need to stress that uh, we have been achieving very close to that. And we've averaged out at around about 8% uh, commission on these, on these boats. So when we, we do the breakdown uh, down to the individual broker, 
or let's call it a franchise if you want to say that, uh, we're looking at giving a, a straight 10% uh, commission uh, to the broker or the brokerage. And uh, for that, all they need to do, all you guys need to do is um, pass us the, the names of, of potential buyers. We can call them leads. And uh, I handle the interaction with the buyer and the yard uh, from that point on. The, the way the, the contracts have been set up uh, with the yards is actually quite interesting. Uh, the boat yard contracts directly with the buyer of the boat. Boat shed does not get involved in that at all. We have a, a contract with the yard and that secures our commission and the various terms that we can present the broker. So, in under. essence, we are I introducing potential purchasers, yes, yes. to the yard, yeah, as, and then they are essentially developing that relationship. When they, when they, when the boat is built and they pay for for the boat, then boat shed takes ten percent of the value of that boat, and ten percent of that commission is then payable to anyone in the group. Yes, it's individuals and, and, and boat shed businesses yes, for that introduction. Absolutely. Uh, Neil came up with an excellent analogy. If we think ourself, uh, of ourselves as a, as a dating agency, essentially, so we find a, um, a potential buyer that happens to like the look of a potential boat and we marry the two, the, the key is to get the, the buyer talking to the yard as soon as possible with me being the go-between and um, driving the process forward. Yep. Because typically boat builders are extremely passionate and very good at building boats, but that's where it stops. Uh, dealing with the client is an unnecessary evil, according to the boat yard. And uh, that's where we come in uh, and we come in very early. But as the relationship with the uh, boat yard and purchaser evolves we slowly get moved out of that equation because they no longer want to talk to the the broker they want to talk to the builder the guy that's actually physically putting their boat together putting their boat together so i think i think it's a system that will work very well it's one that i've used for a long and time and what sort of you know on your notes here what sort of um if you take a, a typical example if i was uh you know if i'm a boat ship person um in the UK or in the US, and um, uh, and I introduce, I make an introduction. Um, tell me about the sort of uh, average values that, of the boats that we're selling under new boats. Well, what I've done is I've I've put together uh, some figures here that represent the average value of the boats that we have for sale. So all all across the range, I've just added them all together, and we've come up with an average. Uh, and that average is 542,000 US, which is a s significant sum. Um, working on the average commission uh, that we've secured through these contracts with the yards uh, at 8%, that gives us um, the brochure group a commission of $43,360, of which 10% of that is payable to the uh, yard itself. So we're talking now a little bit more um, in detail about, uh, I suppose, the the differences between the new boat new boat build model and the used boat model. And um, yeah, tell us in your in in your words, Bruce, where you see the differences. The the challenge that we've got to deal with is that the yards we're working with are on the cutting edge of where we are as boat builders. And that, that line in the sand is continuously moving. So we've got to be able to evolve the, the actual uh, presentation of the boat on the system to keep in, in step with where the boat builders are. Yeah, so unlike a used boat where it's essentially, uh, you know, you gather all the information together, boat gets listed up on the, on, on, on the web, all right, customer come along, buys it, all right, that, that whole transaction is dealt with. Um, here we've got a situation where the new boat, all right, going back to the dating analogy, yeah. we may introduce numerous, all right, 
potential partners, all right, for, 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 for that new boat. But the, uh, the, 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 as you point out, the, the yard is constantly changing some of the design parameters, some of the construction techniques. So it becomes more about um, essentially an ongoing, all right, uh, you know, you've got the initial listing, but then you are feeding in, you know, more information all the time. And uh, to stay on top of that, of course, is, is quite something. So uh, what Lisa does is that once a month she contacts every yard and uh, keeps um, refreshing, I think is the right word, for, for, the, for the listing. You know, just a, a, a relatively simple thing. We all know about uh, the, the move towards uh, electric boats, but that technology is changing so fast. Uh, and a lot of the yards have gone down this road and um, burnt their fingers and had to change and you know, make, make things work. Uh, so that would just be a, a simple example of, of the difference between new and old. Um, the actual templates that we, we use on the listing itself, of course, has to keep in step as well, because there are now new rig systems uh, for the, the, the sailing boats that uh, we would not have had uh, the opportunity to, to uh, be part of. And I suppose that from from you know from from everyone's perspective at Boat Shed, you know the the I mean the, the the way that that I personally see that I would use this is you know I it, it may come as part of an initial inquiry for a used boat. Yeah, someone's looking at a catamaran. You know, it's the age old thing at Boat Shed. It's like number nine buses. We have a we have a boat for sale. Yes, we have no you know no no uh, interest. And suddenly you get one person in, interested. As soon as the boat goes under offer, you've then got another three or four people interested. Exactly. And that might be the right time, for instance, all right, uh, to introduce you know, comparatively or comparative boats within the new boat stream to those customers. And obviously that's where everyone can benefit from the commission. Absolutely. And uh, the latest evolution of what we're doing at the moment is now including uh, build slots on the, on the adverts for the boats. And that we feel is going to be, help trigger that person that's sitting on the on the fence. There's one build slot available in the next two years, and uh, if they miss that build slot, then they're going to be waiting a significant amount of time before their boat even starts getting built. The actual um, layout of that and the presentation of those build slots and those potential times uh, is going to be key to. To going to yes, I mean, as part of this project, you know, we, 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 when we were spent time with the boat builders, we were conscious that, that obviously it takes a, a given amount of time to produce one of these boats. Um, but equally, there isn't anything in the marketplace that, that enables uh, management of those build slots. So the concept of, it's called boatbuildslots.com, uh, is, uh, it, it is essentially, you know, a secure way that, that, that that customers, us as boat shed, and the manufacturers themselves, all right, can not just manage those build slots better, but if a slot, if, if a client, for instance, who's booked a slot decides that they boat, that they don't want to produce the boat, yes, then it enables the boat builders, all right, via ourselves to find a new, you know, another suitable client for that particular slot. This build slot concept works for all involved. Uh, for the buyer, obviously, he can get in when he wouldn't have even known a build slot is available. And for the yard, we can't just assume that if, if a buyer falls out for, for whatever reason, that he can concertina the new builds to fill that slot. So it's Yes, critical. I mean, if, I, if, I have it, if I'm planning to have my boat built in two years' time, and for some reason, you know, the slot all right before mine comes available, yeah. it's going to be extremely difficult for me as the customer to move all of my arrangements. I might not have saved up the money. I might be retiring and planning on going sailing at a certain date. I don't want the boat early necessarily. Exactly. And so how does the builder fill that thing? And boat build slots, I think, is, a, is, a, you know, is another example of, you know, as we've developed this new boat project, yes, really in conjunction with the builders, finding out you know where where the gaps are in you know their marketing and their uh, because as we said they're boat builders they, they want to build boats they're not marketeers yeah, exactly. right yeah. and and so by working with them and 
you know, creating um, more demand, and better security for those those slots. I think it's going to work. It's going to work really well. And now, if we take it to the next progression or the next generation, it's not just the boats that we have listed, the new boats we have listed. We can also approach existing yards that are not, or maybe sitting on the fence and not joining us at this point in time. We can approach them and then offer them the new build slot system. Okay. That's we're not quite there yet, but that's where we're going to be going. So obviously, you know, um, I'm down in in South Africa again. That's very very nice. Um, uh, but you know, one of one of our concerns is how we we replicate this for other boat builders in different countries. We've used uh, John T down here as very much as our video producer and has done a great job. Um, we are just at the moment trialing the idea that these meet the boat builder interviews, if you like, uh, can be conducted all right, at distance. So uh, we're now uh, developing it. So there is a boat builder, like, for instance, in the UK or in the US, as we want to develop the same uh the same template if you like of meet the boat builder you know so the customer can understand that enthusiasm that experience that kind of thing but essentially virtually and so we've been um conducting a number of trials now where we are interviewing boat builders um essentially through 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 zoom all right uh with reasonably neutral backgrounds and so um we can essentially deploy new build the new build technology in 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 any location so what if if you had the opportunity to talk to you know the 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 larger group you know in all the countries where where, where we currently sell used boats new boat production is going on um uh, is that something that 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 that, that you can help with oh very much so um with jonty doing these these interviews uh, and the videography work by remote control we have now taken our very first step with a, a listing in, in the UK and it appears to have gone really, really well. Um, and as we spoke about earlier, the Meet the Builder video is the actual cornerstone of this whole thing. Um, so yes, uh, as far as the, the, the group is concerned and with the fabulous reach that Boatshed has, um, introductions to, to uh, quality boat yards in your area or for that matter in areas that boat shed doesn't reach it to uh, would benefit the group as a whole. Uh, the, the idea, and it's a rather a grandiose idea admittedly, but uh, we want to become the world's biggest representative of new boat yards. And that means that uh, we're going to need support from the group. And uh, we also are going to uh, be able to manage that that volume of boats that we need to look yeah i think the surprising thing for me looking at south africa has been and we've done 10 yards already all right but the actual number all right of 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 small to medium sized builders yeah you know, there are a lot of them i did a, a, a just a quick run around and and chose a few yards that i thought we would that fit well into our offering and uh, that was about 30 yards just out of South Africa. Now, if we look at that uh, across across the world, uh, Australia, Europe, states, we we could literally be sitting with a few hundred yards uh, in in the not too distant future. Our target uh, for the next twelve months uh, is to list in the vicinity of forty new yards, and that was four zero. So you know we really need to 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 harness this opportunity. Because once it becomes publicly available or in the public eye, our competitors are not going to take long before they hook onto this this concept. No, as well. because obviously, from a boat builder's perspective, their traditional route to market, yes, was to either develop a uh, a dealership network. And that's yes. you know, no one wants to be no one wants to buy stock these days to be a stocking dealer. No. So you just end up with representatives, and generally, those representatives. Are selling a broad range, all right, of competitive, all right, new boat brands. Um, so you either develop a a, 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 a a dealership model, or you take the boats to traditional boat shows. And you know, um, you know, whilst whilst the boat, a reasonable sized boat, can either be sailed to the location or containerized, um, we all know the expense and um, and 
and heartache of, 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 of attending boat church. So, you know, the new boat product is, is primarily designed for those small to medium sized builders who want a different way of, of, of taking it to market. I mean, you and I have been in this game for a, a long, long time. And my experience with boat shows is that they are pretty to go to. But as far as selling boats, the, the decisions are made uh, largely around uh, internet shopping. And uh, we can present a product as well as it possibly can be presented, uh, we're going to sell boats. Uh, the, the, my boat show sales have got less and less and less over, over time. And uh, the cost associated to that for the yards has got more and more over time. So this is why the system will work. And uh, it, it's why the boat yards are, are supporting us as well as they are. So if going back to that point then, Bruce, if I am a boat shed person and I know that in my area or, or, or a contact of mine is a boat builder, yes, um, you know, a proper, a proper boat builder, but building small numbers, you know, anything from two to six boats a year. Um, if I bring that to you as the new boats division, yes, um, what are you going to give me for essentially bringing the boat? I understand the commission if I bring the customer, as, but what happens if I bring the boat to you? Well, it's, it's absolutely critical that the new boat division gets new yards. And without the group support, uh, we're not going to get as many yards as we need. So there's significant remuneration to whoever introduces uh, the new boat division to, to the yard in your local area or local country for that matter. Right, so I would get, I would get extra commission if I bring you the boat, all right, yes. Yes, to start with. So what we're going to be doing, Neil, is um, for the very first boat that he sold uh, to one of the boat shed customers, uh, the commission structure is 20% of the commission received by boat shed on a once-off basis, um, goes directly to... So it's like, it's just like referral. It's exactly like referral, okay. except uh, we've weighted it in such a way that uh, the, the significant commissions involved because uh, of the importance of us getting those yards. Yeah. And if we don't get those yards, it affects us as a group because we need to have that full spectrum of boats. So whoever's looking for anything from a you know, day sailor through, through to a significant super cat, um, we've got it all. You know, that why go anywhere else? We've got the best presentation. Our commission structures are with the yard anyway, so it's included. And uh, we can supply them pretty much any boat that they need. Yeah, and obviously from the, you know, just to, to, to reinforce that from the yard's perspective, you know, the costs of putting all of the production and videos and whatever else is covered by boat shed. So um, it's a zero cost all right, gain for them. as exactly. They're only going to be paying us our, 10% commission if we successfully find a client for their boats. Yeah. And while we're talking about uh, the commission being payable to boat shed from the yard, we've structured it in such a way that no, no commissions are payable on the deposit on the boat. In other words, to secure the bill slot is normally about 10% of the total cost of the boat. Our commissions are payable on the first tranche and the second tranche. And typically when we're building these larger boats, you have up to five, six different tranches. But our payment is in the first one and then the second one. And after that, uh, we are squared with the yard, they squared with us, and we're going to do our job, which is sell boats. So in conclusion, uh, Bruce, um, yeah, uh, as, you know, as members of the Boat Shed organization, yes, uh, we introduce a potential purchase of one of these boats and we're getting 10% of the commission. Um, yeah. Or if we find a, uh, a, a yard, all right, um, that, that, that we can introduce, presumably you would then take over and speak to that yard, explain you know, how the whole system works and, and, and everything else. And for introducing that boat, that new boat, yes, I essentially get the referral commission, which is 20% of the, 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 the first boat that sells. Absolutely. That's great. Yeah. The only, the only way this can work is if it works for everyone. And uh, that's, that's what I've tried to achieve and we've tried to achieve. So it works for the boat yard. It doesn't cost them anything to use the boat shed's reach. It, it uh, 
the, the buyer of the boat um, is exposed to far more boats than you would typically find on any one site and they are far better presented than on any other site. Mm. And then, of course, for the, the benefits to the group and to the individual in the group, uh, the financial rewards are, are significant. 